say uh, to people who have goats, there are not so many in Belgium, but we will have more, yeah. I hope, that they have to learn it themselves. To spin themselves yes. in order to get the product yes, back. Yes, because it's, it's much better. We had the fantastic opportunity to visit Chansonoff, one of only a handful of Angora goat farms in all of Belgium. The small family farm, not far from Antwerp, is run by Karen, husband Johan, and their sons. As a boy, Johan grew up shepherding hundreds of sheep in the Belgian pastures and also learned to spin yarn from their wool. A few years ago, when the family decided that goats had a place on their growing family farm, it only made sense to combine some of those childhood fiber art traditions with their new four-legged interests and raise, of course, Angora goats and mohair. A couple of generations of Angora goat kids later, the family has artfully learned some of the most contemporary means of using natural fibers and now opens their barn and studio doors teaching classes in spinning, felting, and soon raising angora goats. And then spinners, I had, I think, six. Their message is clear in whatever they take on. Learn to make beautiful and practical things yourself. This is their story. Deck. I'm sure of it. <laughs> we had to wait a year. Uh, to get the product back yes, after you sent yes. raw fiber. And, and it's not the same then you spin it yourself. Now, mm -hmm. I can't spin, but my husband. Yeah. And now that they have to learn it themselves. This one, all this one. So, and you just made this? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. last week. I last week? Think. Yes. And we have uh, a mill uh, somewhere, but uh, he specialized in alpaca. They have no time for uh, spinning mohair. I like the mohair spin that is pinch brushed. In uh, France, they, they can do that, but they work on another manner than we. So I can't go to France and say, that's my mohair, make a fiber of it. The products then are not from my goats, and I only want the fiber of my goats. Um, that's uh, from our goats. From your goats. But uh, it's spun in, um, uh, in a mill in the French part of Belgium. But you see, it's so, uh, what do you call it? Um, Almost it's industrial. Really? Yeah. It's, not it's not brushed. When you see this, you have a lot of more hairs. That's brushed. And for me, my hair must be brushed. So what, what I do is I buy uh, mohair and I learn it to knit and then I can knit the same thing in our mohair. Mm. The wool that Johan has uh, spun from um, a blue texelar, <laughs> yes blue texelar, and it's the natural, natural color. It's absolutely beautiful. Yes, and I made a poncho of it. So your husband does the spinning and you yes, do yes. the knitting. Yes. Oh my gosh. And that's all natural color. All natural color. It's unbelievable. It's but gorgeous. you see the different colors. In Belgium, you need warm clothes. Yes, <laughs> it's yes. So cold it's today. terrible. <laughs> there are uh, fleeces or uh, small sheep, Oesant. What you breed? You know it? Oesant? No. Uh, small black sheep, you have also white creamy, and they're very small. This it's, looks coarser. It's like her. So really? She, yes, yes. And that's her dog bed. And she likes sleeping on it. <laughs> yeah, of course. She knows her mom is addicted to fiber. Yes. <laughs> I have a lot of uh, different blocks because I work together with two uh, uh, ladies of the Netherlands. And they import a lot of fleeces from other countries. So they are, in the end of December, they went to Sweden. Uh -huh. So yesterday, I bought some Spelso fleeces. Because we start, I will show you, uh, we will make an acoustic uh, wall. You told because, me about this. Because we have a problem with noise upstairs and uh, my eldest plays uh, piano and it's really a problem so we are making we will make a great uh, wall uh, and it will be on the ground of this studio all the studio full of different wool I, I sort them out and then I use the curtain 
like this and then lock so and then so so I do this so and then I do it full of uh, not too hot water not too hot not too hot and uh, I use that's the normal thing uh, we do the for washing dish soap dish wash and a lot of people in Belgium they say how is it possible that they are so white And then I'm going to make something inside it when it's a bag, mm -hmm. and this, and then oh I my think it's, it will it will be a beautiful bag. Oh I'm my sure God. of it. I'm not. Sure. Oh, I'm sure of it too. Yes. <laughs> so you went from almost a mistake to now you're something you're excited about. Yes, and that's one thing I will show to other people. Uh, you have to make a lot of um, tests examples a lot uh, every time I do something like that but then it, it's it's there what do you do with it and then I'm thinking oh I can do this I can do that Meglin ah, okay go to okay. side yes Um, that's one uh, we bought in England, that's hazel. Yeah. Um, Johan has made this new again. Oh, those are cool. Uh, and the reason why is um, you have not too much uh, luzerne in the fleece. And it works very well. It's actually a lot like the kind of feeders that we use. Oh, yes. And we make. Okay. So the, yeah. yeah. Their heads don't get no. covered in the. Yeah. And then here you matter. put the barley on it. Eh? In um, in um, uh, at the evening we close all animals uh, are inside and we close the doors. No animals may be may outside. For their safety. For yes, then I'm sure yes yes. This is the place for the ladies. So that's uh, now I must see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hazel. But here, that's. Uh, that's Juno. That's also one of England. Then Jane. That's our uh, our uh, own baby. Mm -hmm. And next to her is Coco. Hazel. She's a little bit shy. <laughs> And uh, sometimes in summer, uh, you want to place the, the other thing, and then they can go uh, between the trees. In the Flanders, but uh, it's a mother and father were from England. Were from England. But uh, Isidore destroys everything. <laughs> he needs playing. He, he uh, has lost two teeth because he's doing it. Is chewing at, at everything. They will have different relations. Huh? Sometimes in summer, uh, you want to play the, the other thing, and then they can go uh, between the trees. Now, uh, Johan uh, will give a sort of lesson, <laughs> and we make it, we'll, we will make publicity about it, and then people can follow the course. It's about feeding, it's about trimming, uh, everything. <laughs> Many thanks to Karen, Johan, and their sons at Chansonoff of Belgium for welcoming us into their home, studio, and barn to share their art, great conversation and food, and of course, passion for Angora goats and mohair. To learn more about the Chance and Off Farm and their classes, visit them on Facebook, Instagram, or their website. Let's continue to work together to show the world how beautiful Angora goats are and how luxurious and versatile their mohair can be.